I'm a roll on the big... Right, you've got to see this edition of Teresa's Travels because Denny tells us how a young Corbin man parlayed his obsession with an old television show into a movie role. Here's all my Dukes of Hazard collection. I've uh, got a board game. Chris McQueen's bedroom is a veritable shrine to the Dukes of Hazard TV show. Videos, books, uh, you name it, I got it. Looks like that city slicker wants a race. The 20-year-old college student grew up watching reruns of the show, which stopped production in 1985. He attended the annual Duke's Fest and got autographs from the stars. Had Daisy sign my billboard, fell in love with the car, most of all. He even rebuilt his own replica of the General Lee. Friends talked him into sending a picture of himself and his car to the producers of a Dukes of Hazard movie in the works, and he soon got a call from their representative. And uh, she said, you have been cast as an extra in the new movie. When Chris first arrived on the movie set in Port Allen, Louisiana, he felt like he'd died and gone to hazard heaven. Yeah, that's the truth. Uh, actually, I couldn't even believe it myself. I thought I was dreaming and waiting to wake up, you know. He spent a week there and worked on one scene for four days. Yeah, you know, four long days, 4.30 in the morning until 7, 8, or 9 o'clock in the evening. I was in the 70th annual Hazard County Road Rally scene for the General Lee and uh, number 23 car races. It's called the Hog. Burt Reynolds plays Boss Hogg, Jessica Simpson, Daisy Duke, Willie Nelson is Uncle Jesse in this movie, and uh, Joe Don Baker is the governor of uh, Georgia. They were very nice people. Something about Sheriff Roscoe Coltrane must have struck a chord with Chris in the original series because he's now studying law enforcement in college. Yeah, uh, that, that's one thing I want to do is be a deputy sheriff or, or a state trooper or whatever, you know, and I uh, like to be a law enforcement officer. But for now, he's content to be the chased rather than the chaser. Chris can hardly wait for the movie to come out this summer and admits to being a little concerned about the possibility of ending up on the cutting room floor. Yes, in a way, but no, because I'm in enough scenes I don't think I'll be cut out. Even if his part in the film only lasts a few seconds, he still brought home enough memories to last him a lifetime. They catch you with a camera, it's taken away automatically. So I sneak 450 pictures. <laughs> and the whole experience has made Chris McQueen even more of a Dukes of Hazard fan. Hold on more fan, because I'm in the mood now. Coming soon to a theater near you. In Corbin, Denny Treese, 27 News First. <laughs> and away he goes, yes, huh? Yes, sir. Some fan for sure. Mm -hmm. We're